Why evolution does not work. Natural selection. Natural law. In naturalistic evolution, natural selection is presented as a kind of natural law that operates to create the biosphere. Does natural selection have the ability to create the entire biosphere? The answer is no. There are a variety of ways in which natural selection has been falsified as a sufficient cause for naturalistic evolution, at any level above microevolution, see below. 1. Natural limits. Natural selection has been shown, empirically and mathematically, to have very strict limits. Species have limits for change beyond which they die off. This falsifies the claim that natural selection can modify an ancestor species to create all of the biosphere. Natural selection can operate to adapt a species to the environment, within a genus or family, but no more. 2. Genetic deaths. For more complex species, the cost of selection, the number of genetic deaths needed to substitute a nucleotide change by natural selection across a population, is far too high for complex species, like mammals, to pay for constructive evolution, of new higher taxa. This is confirmed by the fact that higher species show no signs of constructive evolution, see below. Note, the numbers below are based on the work of the atheist geneticist and mathematician J.B.S. Haldane. Similar concepts have also been reported by Dr. Fred Hoyle, atheist mathematician, and Dr. Kimura, evolutionary geneticist, founder of Neutral Theory of Evolution. We will look at a 1 million member population in this video, and then a 10,000 member population, representative of different sizes of populations in the wild, in a video to follow. 3. Genetic Deaths, 1 million population. For a 1 million member population, for natural selection to substitute one beneficial nucleotide mutation, across the population, would require 14 million genetic deaths, for a dominant gene, and 2 trillion deaths for a recessive gene. This is far too high for any complex species to pay. So, this falsifies natural selection for formation of any of the higher complex species. Given 500 orphan genes per distinct orphan genetic species, 1000 nt length per gene, and 30% specificity, formation of a new orphan genetic species requires 150,000 functional specific nucleotides. So, to create a new orphan genetic species, it would require 1 trillion deaths, for dominant genes, and 150,000 trillion deaths, for recessive genes. These numbers are far too high for any higher complex species, higher than bacteria to insects, to pay. So, this falsifies natural selection for formation of any of the higher complex species. 3. Time needed, 1 million population. With a 10-year reproductive age, e.g., primates, it would take 20 million years to substitute, and fix, 1 NT mutation on a recessive gene, and 750 billion years for the recessive genes needed for formation of each distinct orphan genetic species. This is vastly longer than the age of the universe. So, this falsifies natural selection for formation of any of the higher complex species. With a 3-year reproductive age, e.g., whales, dolphins, seals, it would take 6 million years to substitute, and fix, 1 NT mutation on a recessive gene, and 225 billion years for the recessive genes needed for formation of each distinct orphan genetic species. This is vastly longer than the age of the universe. So, this falsifies natural selection for formation of any of the higher complex species. With a 2-year reproductive age, e.g., lions, tigers, bears, it would take 4 million years to substitute, and fix, 1 NT mutation on a recessive gene, and 150 billion years for the recessive genes needed for formation of each distinct orphan genetic species. This is vastly longer than the age of the universe. So, this falsifies natural selection for formation of any of the higher complex species. With a one-year reproductive age, e.g., cattle, deer, antelopes, rhinos, it would take 2 million years to substitute, and fix, 1 NT mutation on a recessive gene, and 75 billion years for the recessive genes needed for formation of each distinct orphan genetic species. This is vastly longer than the age of the universe. So, this falsifies natural selection for formation of any of the higher complex species. Conclusion. Based on the above, what evolution does happen, is destructive evolution, increasing genetic load, for higher species, or stasis, for bacteria up to insects with high reproductive rates in large populations. Any evolution that occurs, is completely minor, adaptation of species to an environment within the limits of a genus or family. This falsifies constructive naturalistic evolution, to create completely new phyla and new body plants. Note, we provide additional evidence for this conclusion in our next video in this series. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.